the time has finally come. It is finally over, and Newcastle United fans, you do not have to watch your team in pain, in agony, or stress anymore, and you do not have to see Steve Bruce in the dugout for Newcastle United any longer. Steve Bruce is officially sacked from manager as Newcastle United, and it is said to be mutual consent that he's been sacked or is leaving the club. For me, it's a sacking. We all know it's a sacking. Everyone's wanted him sacked for the longest time, besides his buddy buddies in the media, but we'll get into that a little bit later. Before we jump into things, guys, make sure to drop a sub down below. Like the video, it really helps me out in the algorithm. And drop a comment on the content and what you guys think of Steve Bruce and Newcastle United. We're going to jump straight into things. This is a very interesting time for Newcastle United and moving forward for their club. This is really the first big step for the new owners, for the new management. Because the new owners, they got to get a manager quick. Because Graham Jones is taking the team moving forward. And they have to get this manager right. They got to get him in fast because relegation is really a true thing for Newcastle United right now. Looking at where they are on the table right now, it is really something they got to worry about. And the fact that they're that low on the table, they're 19th, three, three draws, five, uh, five losses. They are not a in a good position right now. And... Obviously, they've looked terrible, but they do have the right players to play a good attacking style of football. I know people may cr criticize me for saying this, but you got St. Maximin, Callum Wilson, who's top class, Joe Willick, you have Almiron, you have some good players in that side, but some really, really piss poor players as well. And you just need to get the right manager in. And for New Newcastle United, you got to get him in quick. you got to get him in extremely fast. And... For Steve Bruce at his time at Newcastle, it was due time. This was months away. This was months in the past that he should have been out of this club. He should have been out of this club a while ago. I want to really touch on this before I really talk about why I think he got to move on fast. Steve Bruce has so many friends in the media. He has so many pals and whatnot. He's been in this business for decades and decades. He has really. He's always played. For, he played for Manchester United. Everyone knows that. And then his managing career, his tenure, has been going on for years and through that he's made so many friends in the media and you gotta look at what some of these guys have said Rooney has said that he wants wants to see Steve Bruce get a thousand games same with Steven Gerrard same with so many other people in the media and they're like oh does Steven does um Steve Bruce deserve his thousandth game with Newcastle on the weekend against Tottenham of course he didn't, but all of his friends in the media were saying, yes, yes, he deserves it. Of course he deserves it. He's been harsh, harshly criticized too much. For me, yes, he did come under some harsh criticism at times, but most of it was deserved. And the reason why was just look at the players he has. Some of them are obviously piss poor, but some of them are class, and you should be getting a lot better out of this team. If you go through the league, they're obviously better than Norris. They're better than Norris right now. Burnley. Watford, Southampton for me. They shouldn't be down that low. And a club with the stature and historical side of Newcastle, you gotta be aiming for higher and you gotta be hitting higher. And it's just embarrassing that Steve Bruce has done this poorly with Newcastle United. And people say, well, he had close to the same record as Rafa Benitez. Look at the money Steve Bruce had spent on his side compared to Rafa's side. Rafa worked miracles with Newcastle United and the players he was given. And then Steve Bruce walked in. He's back. A decent amount compared to Rafa who wasn't backed at all. It's completely different. But yeah, I just hate how in the media, Steve Bruce has so many friends, so many buddy-buddy guys in the media, and it just kills it. That's why the thing with YouTube, if you go on YouTube and you listen to people like me or other content creators out there, whoever you do listen to, it's going to be the honest answer. There's no bias. And I heard Rory Jennings even saying the same thing. I love Rory. He's one of my favorite YouTubers who inspired me to start. And it's just... You can't go to the media all the time. Of course, they've been in the in the business for a while, but they're going to back guys like Ole, Mikel Arteta, Steve Bruce. All these guys are going to get back from the guys in the media. And that's the thing that's hurt me with Steve Bruce because he d didn't deserve to be in that thousand game. He didn't deserve to be here for the past two months. And it's, it's really tough. Of course, the thing you look at with Steve Bruce is apparently he's one of the nicest guys in football. He's extremely nice, extremely gentle, caring, what have you. Alan St. Maximum came out with a touching note this morning on his on his Instagram or his Twitter and just some great words about Steve Bruce. Yes, he might have been a great human being, he might be a great man manager, but he didn't tactically, he was awful. 
he was just not a great manager at all. And he even said today it might be his last game. And who knows where it might take him, unfortunately. But he just wasn't good enough of a Newcastle United drop. And it's very sad to see Newcastle United this low down the table. Relegation is a real threat for them right now at this time being. But it'll be very interesting to see where they go from here. Steve Bruce is officially sacked as the Newcastle United manager. Or mutual consent as it was said. But for me it's a sacking. It really is. Of course, they're talking about some other managers right now. Paulo Fonseca. There, there's managers being thrown in the rumor mill right now. And it's very interesting to see what's happening with uh, Newcastle United and the manager talks. Because it could go anywhere right now for Newcastle. You don't know which manager could come in. Obviously, there's I've had many videos for you guys talking about their possible managers that could be coming up. And it's very interesting. Because you're going into Newcastle are obviously going into an extremely tough next game. And they're playing the likes of Crystal Palace, who are on form, who are playing well, who are quick, energetic, pressing. And Graham Jones is going into this as an inter-manager, which is going to be a tough game to inter-manage. Two guys who are being rumored right now, again from Fabrizio Romano, who the new owners are looking at, are Lucien Favre and the likes of Paulo Fonseca. It's very interesting that they've gone up from a guy like Steve Bruce to guys at this kind of quality. just shows you where the... The real pushes from the owners. But guys, if you'd like to see me do another video on the Fonseca, Lucien Favre issue and who I think would be better of those two, let me know down below in the comments. I'll definitely do a video on that for you guys. If you like it, I'll definitely do it if even if I don't get any feedback. But guys, I hope you enjoy it. And let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. Drop a sub, drop a like. Let me know what you guys want me to do another video on Fonseca and Lucien Favre if they'd be a good signing for Newcastle United. But guys, I'll see you for the next one. Peace.